Greetings, WordPressers. Jackson here. Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you as always. Last week we did a pretty chunky review of the Icons Block plugin, a plugin that should definitely be, or the functionality of which should definitely be in Core. Yes, yes, it should be. Had a few comments, two of which were identical, that were, can we have icons in buttons? Well, all the page builder, block page builder, libraries, plugins, etc have an icon button feature. There are a couple of button block standalone plugins in the repo, one of which is way over the top. And if you just want a simple icon in your button block, I thought it's such an easy DIYer, that's what we're gonna do today. So here we go, three wonderful hacks for getting icons in your button block. All right, let's get button hacking. Fresh install of WordPress here, just got my starter block theme installed link is in the description to download that. Let's get to the editor. Let's get to pages. I've got a page set up for button icons. Let's get some buttons in. There's a button. First up, we've got the easiest win you'll ever see in your life. Space goes in. We go to arrow symbols, Unicode arrow symbols. Find us arrow we like, copy it, put it in, save it, front end, done, duplicate, turn it into a outline, just works. Right, next one is duplication of that. Well, it's not really a hack actually, it's actually built into WordPress. You see, we've got the format bar here. You've got, you know, justified, align, text align, put the link in. Always have a look at see what's going on in the more drop down on these formats bars and look at this, inline image. Hang on. Inline image, let's put one in. Oh, hello, look, we've got an image now. Now look, problem with the alignment. So let's just save that and look on the front end. Let's fix that with a teeny bit of CSS, let's inspect that. And on our link here, we'll put a display flex, which immediately sorts it out. We'll put a, a gap in now, because it is flex, 10px, and look at that, fabulous. And we could also put a hover on that. So when it hovers, the opacity goes to 0.6, something like that. And there you go, we've got a nice, if your button doesn't do anything, nice one. So let's get this in our CSS, but we could actually add a bit of transition to that as well, 0.4s seconds. It's a bit nicer, copy this. Now I've got the theme CSS here. So this is our inline image, plunk that in there. Grab our hover state as well, and that's good. Refresh that. That's all working lovely. Now, there is a problem with this. If we swap to 2024 theme, let's get our appearance themes. Well, it's the child theme I'm gonna use. Activate that. Link is in the description for that child theme. If we go back to our front end, still kind of works. Obviously, we haven't got the alignment set on the buttons yet for the image. But look at this. Of course, if you've got a button in your theme that changes color, then the, the image is not just not going to work, is it? So we need to sort that out. Well, first thing to sort out is getting this flex control on the 2024 child. We don't need transition. Save that. Check the front end. That's cool, excellent. Right, the image. We're gonna to have to remove the image from the button. So let's get that opened in a new tab. Pages, icon buttons. In fact, we'll just duplicate this. So we've got a reference to the old one. So get rid of the image. And now we just got to add a class. We're actually gonna use CSS for the whole icon image thing. So let's put a class of download button, save that. Right, back to the admin and our media. Let's get the URL of our image back to our front end. Let's refresh that. There's our new button, refresh that. Inspect our button. There's our download class on there, lovely. So we'll use that to create a new rule. Let's get rid of the end of that. We just want it up to the download button bit. And it's actually the element underneath, the A that we're targeting. So it's A that we're targeting. And we want some content after that A. And we'll use the pseudo element after. 
and the declaration for content, it will be a URL. Remember we just copied that? Quote marks and look at that. We've got our icon. Obviously, we're still in the same boat here, fixing that in a second. Line height needs to be sorted out on the on the after element because it's a bit high. There we go. That's much better. Let's copy that complete rule and we'll get that into our CSS. Save that. Check that's all working. That's cool. So now what we've got to do is on the hover, swap the image out. So let's do that. So let's put in a another rule and we'll use that say those same classes again. But this time we'll add a hover after and the content will be our URL. Let's just put in a XXX to start with. There we go. OK, that's cool. Let's just copy that. We'll use that here. Right. So the URL is the white one, which is that one. There's something going on with the sizing here. So come back to that in a second. So our content will be URL in the quotes. Save that. And yeah, there's definitely something going on with the sizing here. So we'll put in a width of 24px, height 24px, save that, refresh that. And there you have it, a little bit of action for hovering on buttons. Yes, indeed, with some icons in there. There is one little issue. Let me just show you on this, on the editor. Let me just get the toolbar out of the way. Now, if I just give that a hard refresh, absolutely no icons in the editor. And that is because, because, because we're targeting the A and the specificity of specificity of the editor, the classes override an element like an A tag. It's a living hell, but this is how we overcome that. So we're targeting the A. We actually want to target its classes that. So if we change that in our CSS to where we've got A, that and that save back to our editor. We've got our icons back and they work properly on the hover state too. Block theming button icons just like that. Button blocking action. And if you want a little bit more of that kind of stuff, there's another video for you right here. But until next time, I shall see you later.